Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Disney Diva, and I hope all my fabulous people are doing well. I hope all my Saturday loves are doing great. I'm back with y'all. Um, I'm definitely not going to try to keep y'all alone because I'm a little bit tired just coming back uh, from work. A little bit stressed, as I told you guys. Just been going through, you know, for these couple of months, but God is so good, and I just hope all you guys are hanging in there. But like I said, I hope all my Saturday loves are just doing good. I want to welcome in every single body that is new and all the people who are following me. And hopefully that little message that just pop up that you guys don't see it on your end. My bad if you do. But anyways, for your listening pleasures. Now, I don't know how to say this group name. I don't know if it's pronounced Zane or Jane. I know on the album cover show you how to pronounce it. But anyways, it's one of my favorite songs. You know, y'all know me. I love me some good music. This song is called Sending My Love. And I definitely need y'all to send some love Disney Diva way by liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell. So I'm really going to try not to keep y'all alone because I'm in the process of trying to wash clothes. And hopefully there's a dryer that's going to open up because people are hogging the machines. And that's always a nightmare where I live at. But um, one thing I got that has got me in my feelings and stress is because I tried to book reservations for Blue Bayou, as I was telling you guys, and I was not able to do that. Um, I noticed how I think you can book it like 60 days in advance or however it works. Um, I noticed how Disney had all of August um, available on the calendar and it had all of September. But slowly as August dates were uh, disappearing, um, dates for October was opening it up. So as I prepared to uh, click on October 9th, um, when I got ready to do that on uh, Tuesday that just passed, the darn thing told me it was no availability. And I'm all like, how in the world was that? When it was like literally just Tuesday at 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm all like, how did these people get on? I mean, I just want to know what's the secret of accessing this online system because you can't call in to make reservations. So I'm, I'm a little bit bummed out. And the only reason why Blue Bayou is so um popular it's because like i told you they got they got liquor now and of course it's water now but that's why it's popular and plus just because this is inside the trash of uh pirates of the caribbean so hopefully i'm praying that next birthday lord willing maybe somewhere in march i'm able to um dine there um now i'm trying to get uh reservations for jazz kitchen and they're not having um, they don't have any uh, availability yet for October. They just have August and September. But although they are showing dates for October now, you just can't book it for whatever reason why. I don't know. But yeah, that had me in my feelings. That had me pissed off. You know, but um, if it's meant to be, it will, it will, it, it will work out. Another thing that had me in my feelings was that I was trying to do my first Disney bounty. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I was trying to do Tiana's white uh, uh, flapper dress, you know, uh, but the dress I brought from Macy's, I just been having issues with, you know, the first time it something happened with the order where it did not come, I had to take it back and reorder it, and then the sizes were wrong. So I guess it just wasn't meant for me to have this dress, so... I'm just gonna get my money back. I'm just gonna wear my original uh, uh, pretty uh, Tiana uh, green dress. It only been worn once, and that was in 2019. Um, that was like one of my best favorite birthday because I met Tiana three times that day. Three times is a charm. I mean, or what is it? Third time's a charm. But anyways, uh, hopefully in uh, 2022, I'll be able to meet her that many times. So I was gonna try to do that. But I'm just going to stick with uh, some cute outfits I already have and call it a day. So that's one little thing I wanted to talk on. Now, moving on. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of the new Magic Key program. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of this and probably already heard from it from other YouTubers, but you didn't hear it from me. So, um, now, you know, back in, I want to say 2020, our passes were discontinued. You know, and um, I've been having this pass. I don't know how long I've been a, a annual pass holder, but I know it has been some years. Every single year, by the grace of God, I was able to attain and afford to have this pass reactivated. Every single year, like clockwork. Every single April, I think um, April 7th, that's when my pass expired. But somehow, by the grace of God, I was able to buy back into this program. 
So now, um, but like I said, they claim that we are legacy holders. But I just think that's just a fancy title. It doesn't mean anything because it definitely does not apply towards their new Magic Key program, if you know what I mean. Um, so like I said, they came up with a new Magic Key program. I want to say this was like maybe towards the end of, end of July, maybe July 31st, they made the announcement or early August. Um, the program is set to come out August 25th, so good luck to everybody that's going to try to buy one. You only can buy it online, you can't do it over the phone, and you already know that's going to cause the internet to crash, just like anything else that, that's new that Disney comes out with. So I think they have different pass types, and I'm just going to read, I'm looking at some notes here, so I'm just going to read the ones they have. They have the Dream Key, and that is like $1,399. It's no blackout dates. Um, you have six reservations. Uh, you get 20% off on the merchandise, 15% off on the dining, and I think it's standard parking, but I'm not too concerned with the parking because I don't drive or know how. Um, I always get drop off on the harbor side. So that is called the dream uh, key, and it's, it's access to both parts, no blackout dates. And then they have the believe key. That key is $949. And you have six reservations. It is blackout dates. You have to look online to figure out the blackout dates. And that one seems like there's a lot of blackout dates for that one. It has six reservations. You get 10% off on the merchandise. 10% off on the food. And 50% um, off the off the parking. Um, and then it's called, one. the other one's called the Enchanted Key. It's 649. It holds up to uh, four reservations. 10% off on the merchandise, 10% off on the dining, and it has a definitely a quite few blackout dates. And then the last one, which is the cheapest one, is called the Magic Key. And I like what one cast member said. He said, with this with this key, you're going to imagine that you were in the park because this one seemed like, I mean, I guess it would be good for somebody if it works for your budget and your type. But it's uh, $399. Um, it's only for like Southern California um people um i think it says it's, it's it's one reservation or something like that if i have that written down right for both parts no my bad um no it's it's two two it, you have up to two reservations for both parts it's 10 percent off the merchandise 10 percent off the dining and like i said there's a quite few blackout dates for that one um the one that i am thinking of i'm in between the dream key and the Believe It key, um, at first, I went to go with the Believe It key uh, because it had um, dates available for my birthday. The only thing I did not like was that April, I think April 1st was available, but like the April 2nd was not available. And normally when I do my birthday, I have like half of March and then I take the other half of April and um, also, you know, spend my little spring break half and half in March and then of course in April. Cause my birthday's at the end of the month, so it's like go figure, right? But the only thing is that um, now I heard that if you want to, if you try to go on a on, on a um a date that's blocked out, you can't pay to have it unblock out. The customer told me that you'll just buy a regular ticket for that day. Um, so but for this one, I just realized it's just too many blackout dates for the the Believe It key, and there's like hardly you know Saturday, cause really Saturday for me because of my job. It's like the best day because if I go on Sunday, I'm going to be extremely tired because the next day I have to go to work. And I learned my lesson on that when I went on that Sunday on Father's Day, when, which was my first day back. I was super tired at work. So my best bet is to go with the dream key. The only thing is that just get in the money. Now, I am not Rihanna Rich. I just heard that Rihanna came the first billionaire, um, you know, female um person or something like that on Forbes list or something. I might be saying that wrong. Y'all know me. I get things wrong. But I know she's a billionaire or something. So congratulations to her. I don't have her type of money. So I'm going to have to save for the first pass. And I'm just thinking if I can't uh, come up with the $1,399 and uh, bucks, uh, definitely for uh, this birthday uh, coming up, I'm just going to buy the regular tickets. It might be a little bit more costly for me. But um, at least until I'm able to save. And then one thing I also learned was that she, the lady told me over the phone, because I called to get this information, because you know things go over my head. But uh, she was telling me that if 
you um the first day that you um access your pass in the park that's the day that's the day that um your renewal date will start like for example if i brought that pass um let's say if i was able to buy that pass on the 25th and the next day i know that I was going to disneyland let's just say march 29th because that's the day i i'm thinking about going back to disneyland um you know for my birthday that's the next time after april i mean april after october 9th it's when I plan on going back to the park. It's around it's around March, of course. So if I scan that key on uh, March 29th, that's when my renewal period start. And for me, that's gonna be like kind of like iffy for me because in March, um, that's where all the um, funds kick in. You know, for hair, nails, makeup, outfit. That's where all the big bucks come in for me. And and trying to and trying to renew an annual pass, that's doing a little bit too much. So. I was thinking if I did, if I was able to buy into this pass, I would have to like buy it around uh, October or December and go somewhere around um, uh, not, not October, I mean November or December and go somewhere around like November or December. So whenever I scan it for either of those months, then that will be the first um, renewal. That will be my uh, renewal period. But I have no clue how I'm going to do this. I'm so lost on the whole thing. And my bad, if you guys can understand or hear everything, you can visit their website. Like I said, the the key, the new pass system go on sale August 25th. So be sure to get yours. Um, I hope you guys have um, good luck with getting it. If you are thinking about it, yes, they're very expensive. I just wish Disney did not discontinue the new pass system because the money I had earlier and in, in this year, I, I would my pass would already be renewed. Because normally on my birthday, all I got to just worry about, like, you know, paying the driver, paying for the hotel room, paying for my hair, nails, and makeup, and food, and souvenir money. And I'm sick because I already got the tickets covered. But since I don't have tickets covered, it's going to make it more expensive. But I believe it's going to work out or something, you know. Um, and, and, and especially, I just pray that the, you know, the world doesn't get shut down because things are starting to get a little bit more serious out there. And that has me stressed too as well. Because, I mean, every time you turn on the news, it's always something. If it's not dealing with the virus, it's dealing with violence in the world. And I stay praying. We all got to stay praying. But moving on from there, um, now remember um, in October, um, the Hunting Mansion gets turned into the Holiday Mansion. And if you visit the, um, I can't think of the website. Um... It's this one. I wish I could think of this one certain website. I can't think of this website, but online they give you pictures already of this year's gingerbread house. It's one of my favorite times of the year to see the gingerbread. I always look forward to seeing the gingerbread, and I can just smell that ginger now. I mean, it's a real gingerbread house. And when you go through the Hunting Mansion or the Holiday Mansion, since when I go in October, that's what it will be. Um, when you go through, I think, the ballroom scene, that's where you can smell the essence of that ginger. So, I just wanted to show you guys some um, pictures, if you guys can see this. One second. So, from what I heard, so, this is the picture, if you can see it. Now, from what I heard, what they're going to do, they're doing a, co a combination of, like, all the um all the gingerbread houses that they made throughout the year they're taking little um different little pieces and they're gonna um put it all together so that's why you see those little dates you know from from each year each gingerbread house is gonna have something to make one one big old house so that's what they're gonna do and some of those pieces i actually do um remember you know, um, so I look forward to seeing that. I'm so excited because come October 9th, that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do because I know that line going to get crazy. And then I'm going to try to make sure I do it. Um, that's going to be the very last ride I'm going to do before I leave out that park. And hopefully the next time I'll be seeing Disneyland definitely will be, you know, uh, late March for my birthday. Hopefully the money and everything come together. So y'all pray for that. I don't know why I feel like I'm beginning to tell y'all something, but, um, I think that's all besides my Disneyland Vinny and sharing those things about the, the the magic key, which is called. Oh, yeah. And then also one thing about that magic key, it's not going to be, uh, excuse me, it's not going to be a, um, it's not going to come like this. 
it's gonna be on your phone i hate all this technology so could i ask the lady i said well do i get like a car in the mail or anything like that and she said no it's gonna be something that's gonna be like in the disney app so you have to make sure that your disney app is updated you can go to the um play store or whatever your or the the i i mean not the itunes i'm about the itunes store whatever if you have an apple um the apple store on your phone or android which is the um play store i think and you just access the disneyland app and make sure your app is updated because that's where your new annual pass ticket will be and each time you go in the park that's what you present and i guess they scan it from your phone also the lady said that you're able to um print it out so you can bring a print out of it and they can scan it that way and if you do get the one that's the believe key or any other one underneath that um there's gonna be a special calendar versus the regular calendar to make sure that those dates are available so i guess in the way you're kind of competing with other annual pass holders to see let's say for example if you're trying to go um december 17th and so you just want to make sure that de december 17th is available and that it's not like um that that that, that, that date is available so i mean i don't get it in the way but something like that the lady explained to me because it's going to be two set of calendars you're not looking at the regular can calendar if you're a a, a new magic key holder you're going to be looking at the magic key holder calendar and then it shows you how to link that all together into like the disney app because everything's going to be on that disney app app so everything is so high tech and then um each day you have to uh, make sure that you register and uh reserve the date you know i think for the first and second pass for those amount it should be unlimited you shouldn't have to go through that crazy reservation system you should just be able to just to show up but it's not like that you know um you have to you have to um sign up you have to reserve um a date for that and also they give you a uh, um two days let's say for example if you don't show up for two days um you don't get any penalty but i heard on the third day if you miss another day on the third day you you are like i think i think you're blocked for like 30 days so you can't like get into the park for like 30 days or something like that so that's like the penalty so you have to make sure that you cancel in advance that's also what i learned but my bad you guys i'm sorry that this is all over the place i just wanted to come on and just share this stuff i want to thank you guys for watching the last video i know that jungle cruise um video was all over the place y'all know i'm bad with reviews but i'm trying so i just want to thank y'all y'all have a safe night have a blessed night um stay safe you know keep me in prayers i keep you guys in prayer like i said i just been going through some things you know and um god knows that i, I hope i'm able to get this past because in my crazy life dealing with um work in my apartment god knows i think i need a little bit of magic you know besides him that's number one you know but um god knows i can use a little bit of a getaway a little bit magic <laughs> but anyways you guys stay safe and um, i want to say deuces and you and keep that magic